at what level would you be worried about the peso's weakness? It's now at its weakest ever. What could what's the worst that could possibly happen if it does break 60? Should the BSP start to intervene even more? But you did mention exports mm -hmm. and remittances. Uh, you know, are are some of the legs of the economy, and that though, that might stand to gain with the weaker peso. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, remittances have been really steady, as they almost always are uh, in, in the Philippines. It's one of the, uh, the, uh, the, the a strong facet of the Philippine mm -hmm. economy is that there's always this flow of foreign currency into the uh, Philippine economy from uh, remittances. Uh, as you mentioned, the peso is almost at uh, sixty to the dollar, and it looks like it's uh, you know it, mm. it certainly hasn't uh, uh, leveled off yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot then does depend on one, on where exports go, and two, on whether uh, inflation and particularly uh, imported inflation can be gun coming down. My guess is that it will, uh, given that mm -hmm. uh, many commodity prices, including fuel prices and uh, wheat prices, mm -hmm. so wheat is an important food import into the Philippines, um, they're both coming down. Uh, you know, Brent crude, the, the basic price uh, for crude oil in Asia is at about $85 a barrel. It was up at 120, 125 at its, its peak back at the outbreak of the uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine. So commodity prices are looking uh, better. Mm -hmm. And, and as, as you reported earlier, uh, fuel prices are coming down in the Philippines as well. So that's a very, very good sign. Given all that, what's your inflation outlook for the Philippines before we touch on fuel, especially with the latest remarks here from the president? Well, I think it's going to take a few, a, a few months to see any real improvement uh, in, uh, in, in inflation. But I think by the time we get uh, at the end of the year, we'll finally see inflation drop down below 6% somewhere in the, in, in the high fives. Okay, and importation um, of fuel and commodities from Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, is that a necessary strategy given, as you mentioned, prices are coming down? I, 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 I do wonder, uh, uh, global uh, uh, crude oil prices are coming down. There is a chance of some volatility at the end of the year as more, some more European sanctions are put in place against uh, 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 Russian uh, energy imports, at least into Europe. And so there is still some uncertainty of where these prices will go. Mm. But we're, are, we are closer to a, sort of a long-term equilibrium price than we have been in a long time. Uh, so perhaps with a little patience, uh, the uh, you know, prices will come down a bit further and uh, it will, in a sense, take care of itself. There's some risk, of course, in buying uh, uh, imported mm -hmm. oil from Russia in terms of Avoiding any possible sanctions mm -hmm. and working with uh, ship, you know, shipping and banking and so forth, uh, one has to be very, very, uh, very careful. Now, Stephen, a couple of weeks ago, Moody's did mention, however, that despite all of these global headwinds, our consumption economy is strong and possibly strong enough to offset these issues. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, the pandemic scars mm -hmm. having been very, very deep. Is this situation on a little more shaky ground, especially now as the U.S. recession probability is at 98%? Well, the, the global economy is certainly slowing and uh, global interest rates are rising faster than we might have expected uh, a, a couple of months ago. But I think in the Philippines' favor is both the pace of consumer spending and, and also uh, uh, government fiscal policy as well. You mentioned the deep scarring in the, in the Philippines. You know, we've said this many times, but uh, the Philippines' economy suffered probably more than any other mm. economy uh, except for India. Uh, during the pandemic because of the lengthy and very strict uh, lockdowns. So in a sense, uh, there's a lot of ground to make up in terms of consumer spending mm -hmm. getting back on okay. track uh, and uh, households buying the things that perhaps they delayed over the, uh, the many months. Mm -hmm. And so consumer spending still looks fine. Uh, and government spending, if government uh, is, is stays with uh, its uh, budget plan of spending on infrastructure, on education, on uh, improving public health systems, I think that is a, a good foundation to add to growth as well.